What is up guys, this is Justin aka FM Digi and you're not here for episode number 37 of Bottom of the Top. Um, this is sort of a state of the channel update. So um, I am going to be cutting back the this series down to one episode a week. Um, that'll be the Tuesday episodes. So the Saturday one, which you're watching right now, will, um, I'm unsure what I'm gonna do with this slot. Um, might, uh, I'm not sure. Um, kind of debating what to do. I don't really want to start a series. I mean, as of today, uh, this is Thursday the 24th when I'm recording this. Um, FM21 was just announced to come out in two months from today. So I've got some plans for that. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But, um, SF, the series, uh, with SF is not getting really any of the views getting about a third of the views that uh, the Red Star series is getting. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of other YouTubers who are kind of in similar situations cutting back because um, apparently lower views can actually overall hurt the channel when you have some videos that get lower views than others. So I'm uh, honestly going to test this out. Um, now that doesn't mean I'm going to be stretching this out. I'm just going to be playing more offline and bring in coming back um so their episodes are going to go a lot faster now essentially um so that's what's one thing i wanted to talk about and then um as well with the launch of fm21 um in two months i will be releasing an updated version of my united states pro rel database um it's been mildly successful this year but there's a lot of things I want to, now that I'm more entrenched into things, that I do want to change with it. Um, not happy with some of the lower regions and stuff like that. Um, the geography, you know, having a team in New York and a team in California both being in the Pacific region um, doesn't really make sense. So I am trying my hardest to learn about how to make the regions work a little bit better. Um, I can set them up you know perfectly but then as the years progress i don't want them to become a geographical uh nightmare for anyone who you know who wants to play um also um in looking at i've already started to map out i've got this crazy excel that i've created where i have mapped out you know what teams will go into what regions and what um have noticed there are some dead teams um in here and the way that i created my database i used Every team that was in FM already. I did not add any teams, um, didn't delete any teams. So any teams that were based in the United States were in my database last year or this current year. Um, and that's the way I would like it to continue. But I have heard there are several teams that are not in there. So, you know, I'm sorry about that. Um, but perhaps I can work on getting some new teams in there as like a second launch of the database once it gets released um, and we, we see what teams are in and what teams are not in um, the vanilla database from Football Manager. Um, then that brings me to my third and last point of this video. Uh, what am I going to do for Football Manager 21? Um, I have some, some ideas. Um, couple I'm not yet ready to share but um, anyone who's followed my channel for a while um, you know I really do uh, enjoy the, uh, playing in the United States um, the reason I created my pyramid uh, database was because I wanted to play this I wanted to play in the United States with ProRel um, you know do a um, you know a bottom to top like I'm doing with Hazef Kandukni um, do a bottom to top kind of uh, thing where I start in the bottom and then work my way up. Um, last year, you know, I had, or I'm sorry, this current year, um, I had two series that I'm super proud of, uh, did really well. Uh, Chandler FC, um, that one died a sad death because I can't save right and lost the save file because I overwrote it. Um, that will be coming back right off the bat. Um, American Hitchhiker which um, I really enjoy that one, you know, hanging out at Detroit City, Forward Madison, uh, finishing up LA Galaxy. Um, that was a fun series. It went kind of a little bit faster than I wanted it to. I believe it was only 50 episodes. 
Um, I do think I'm going to start maybe in um, seeing if I can find a database that has lower league teams in Mexico and or Canada, um, potentially starting in one of those countries and then working my way into the United States where, you know, hopefully I'd finish. But those are the two saves I'm thinking about starting up again for FM21, um, you know, Chandler FC race up the United States Pyramid like I did last time and in FM19 for those old schoolers who were still with me. Um, did those and then the American Hitchhiker um, maybe be a North American Hitchhiker we'll see but um, those are my plans and then I have a couple other things kind of still stewing in this crazy little head of mine um, notice the shirt um, real um, real connoisseurs of football manager youtubers will know about this shirt but um, you're looking um, you know, if you know what it means, then you, you like this shirt. I, I I saw this shirt on FM Llama's uh, channel, and I had to get it because Nathan Tekapua is one of my favorite all-time uh, FM20 players. Um, never got to coach him, but um, so FM Llama created this shirt for him, set piece master, and plus I also like cigars and cocktails, so kind of worked out. I just got it the other day, and I'm kind of giddy when it showed up um but yeah that's uh kind of where we are right now um comment down below you have any things you want to talk about um you know i'm pretty open to talking about anything here um let me know what you guys think about the ideas um with the hasef save and kind of bring it down to once a week and then um you know we'll, we'll see how that works um, we are in Liga Rook Valley with that, and we're doing well, but um, I didn't really set an end goal for this. I just wanted to get them up into the top tier, which we've done. Um, yes, I would like to win the league and maybe win some cups along the way, but honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen before FM21 comes out, so we'll see. I don't know, um, but I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.